Welcome to session 2 view manipulation. In the session we learn view toolbar, mouse controls and unit settings. In view toolbar first option is fly mode. Fly mode is used to navigate inside our design. This is mostly used in large assemblies to view and move around inside an assembly. Second option is fit all in. It is used to fit all the models into the geometry area. Third one is move. It is used to shifts or slides the view of the model horizontally, vertically or diagonally. Next one is rotate. We can rotate the model using the left mouse button. Next options are zoom in and out. Zoom in, it will increases the magnification of the view. Zoom out, it will decreases the magnification of the view. Normal view, it will rotate the 3D model to a view, perpendicular to the selected planar area. Multi view, this tool enables multiple view in single screen. We can customize this views manually. Next one is quick view. Quick view, we can change the view to isometric view, front view, back view, left view, right view, top view, and bottom view. View mode, this is visual mode of the model. We can change the mode such as shading. It shows color shades only. Shading with edges. It shades the model with dark edges. Shading with edges without smooth edges. It will hide smooth edges only. Shading with edges and hidden edges. It shows the hidden geometry edges. Shading with material. It shows with real material like iron, steel. And final one is wireframe. It removes shades. Hide and show. It is used to hide or show the geometries. Select the model and select hide or show option. This option also available in contextual menu. Swap visible space. To show the hidden geometry go to swap visible space. Hidden geometries are in this space. Select the model here and select hide or show option. Then select swap visible space. Next topic is mouse controls. Mouse left button is used to select and edit the geometry. Selected face will be highlighted in orange color. To select multiple features, hold control button and select features. To deselect the geometry press escape key. To edit the geometry features, double click on the feature. Right button is used to open contextual menu. Right click on feature, it will open contextual menu. Wheel button is used to manipulate the objects.
to pan the geometry area, press and hold the wheel button. Then move mouse where you want to drag the part. During this process the cursor changes to arrow. To zoom the geometry area, press and hold the control key. Then press and hold wheel button while keeping control key pressed. Then move the mouse up and down. During this process the cursor changes to arrow. To rotate the geometry area, press and hold the wheel button. Then press and hold control key while keeping wheel button pressed. Then move the mouse. During this process the cursor changes to cross. Next topic is unit settings. To open unit settings, go to tools menu and select options. Then select parameters and measures under general option. Next select units tab. Default settings is millimeter, if you want to change the units change here. Thank you for watching. Session 3 will continue.